oh goodness, I am so sorry, fifth grade. Please excuse uh, my dance a but I was just so out of it because I needed to use so much energy, which is what we are going to be learning about this week. I know you guys remember this jacket from last week at our virtual lit dance party where I brought my best moves um, and I brought it back out just to show you guys some more of my dance moves. I'm just kidding. We're here just to talk about energy. At the end of that virtual lit dance hour, I was exhausted. I had no more energy, but it came to mind, hey, let me use that as an example to teach you guys energy okay i lost the jacket don't worry i won't bring it out anytime soon but it's time to get serious and hop right into our week six of virtual learning please remember it is monday i need you guys to please check your weekly checklist this week for science it is pretty simple but you still have more important updates on there with math and ela so please go check your checklist after you watch this video so you know what's due for the week this week we are going to discuss energy but not just any type of energy we're going to discuss potential and kinetic energy by the end of this video you will be able to describe and define potential energy and differ differentiate between the both now this week i'm going to share my screen with you so we can go over what potential and kinetic energy is and hopefully when we're done by the end of this video you can differentiate between the two all right, fifth grade, as I stated before, this week we are going to be learning about potential and kinetic energy. Um, you are going to be able to recognize the difference between kinetic and potential energy by doing some at-home testing of your own. So by Friday, you'll be able to say, okay, potential energy means this and kinetic energy means that. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to um, identify what those are also. All right, let's move on. All right, so this is just a quick PowerPoint, no more than three slides on what potential and kinetic energy is. Um, let's first start by defining energy. Energy is the ability to do work. It is how things change or move, of course. Um, this video, well, this um, slide has a video, but um, the platform that I'm using, you will not hear the sound of that video. So we won't play the video. I'll just post it on the link. Um, energy takes many different forms. These two forms are called potential and kinetic energy. Um, now we have here, it says kinetic energy is energy in motion. And potential energy is energy um, that is stored dependent on its position. So as we move through this, as you watch the video, you will see that when you're using a roller coaster, well, when you're on a roller coaster, um, it's using potential energy when it's at the top. So it's not moving. It has just had that energy stored in um, the roller coaster. And as soon as it goes down that loop, it is practicing kinetic energy. Number three says, what adds more kinetic energy, mass, speed, or length? It, when you watch the video, you will see that that answer is mass. The higher an object is, the more potential energy it has. So if you're in the airplane and you jump out of an airplane, you would have more potential energy than if I would just stand up and jump up and down. I don't have as much potential energy. All right, so let's just do a quick practice. Um, you're going to place the carts on the roller coaster to show where they will have potential and or kinetic energy. Now I'm going to pause and give you guys a couple seconds to just visually place the red cart for kinetic energy and the blue cart for potential energy in the correct boxes. I'll give you a couple seconds. And just remember, kinetic energy is energy that is in motion. So where at on this roller coaster is the roller coaster in motion? And where at on this roller coaster does 
it show potential energy where it is not in motion or it has its most energy stored. All right, let's see. So kinetic energy, obviously, is the energy, um, is energy that is in motion. So if we are, look at A, if the roller coaster is at the top of the peak, is it displaying kinetic or potential energy? Is it in motion or is that motion just stored, ready to be moved into motion? Right, let's get a drum roll, please. Uh oh, sorry. Go back. Okay, I'm going to have to exit out this. And let's just try to do it this way. Potential energy would be there because the energy is stored. As we go to B, once that potential energy starts to move, now that energy is in motion, and now we're at B, that displays kinetic energy. As we keep going, we go up and down and up. And we're going down again. We're still in motion. So that means C would be kinetic energy. Give yourself some shine if you got it right. And now we're back. Our last one is D. D, the roller coaster is at the top where some energy is being stored, ready to go down the roller coaster. And I would say we are looking at potential energy. All right, give yourself some shine if you got them all right and still give yourself some shine if you got them wrong because this is your first time hearing or learning this. So that is okay. All right, at the bottom here it says, which cart, uh-oh, which cart has has the most potential energy and I'm trying to get this out the way but if I press exit it's not going to move so don't worry about that one let's move over here which cart has the most kinetic energy I would say it's pretty even I would say they both have um an equal amount of energy all right, so here we are here. We're going to sort the examples. You're going to drag these titles to correspond to the type of energy that they have. Now, obviously, I know this is a video, so you can't drag them, but I will drag them for us. I will pause after every one, and we will um, discuss whether that is correct or not. Again, I'm going to have to exit that out, but I will just make it bigger. So you can see exactly what's happening. All right, so we have a ball thrown in the air. Is that an example of potential or kinetic energy? I would say it's definitely kinetic energy. All right, um, a glass sitting on the edge of a counter. Is that an example of potential? Is it is the energy being stored? Is it not moving? Or is it an example of kinetic energy where it's in motion? Right, I would also say potential energy. All right, a ball sitting on the top of a hill. Hmm. A ball sitting on the top of the hill, so it's not moving, it is waiting to move. I would say that is potential energy. A roller coaster at the top of a hill. Well, we all know this one potential energy. A baseball sitting on a tree. If it's just sitting on a tree and it's not moving, it is displaying potential energy a roller coaster going down a hill well we just answered that one kinetic energy because it is in motion a person falling down a person falling down 
So that person is in motion. Mm -hmm. So that person is displaying kinetic energy. A ball rolling downhill. Hmm. I would say kinetic energy for sure. A stretched rubber band. Hmm. So if I have a rubber band, if it's on my wrist, it's sitting there and it's not moving, I would say that would be potential energy. But this time, the rubber band is being stretched. So it is in motion. If it's in motion, that means the energy is kinetic. Last but not least, we have skateboarding downhill. Again, it is in motion, so which one will it be? Kinetic or potential? Is it pot potential or kinetic? Kinetic. Perfect. All right, great job. I hope you guys get to to see the definition of kinetic and potential energy. And we are going to go back into the classroom. All right, I hope that video helped you define what potential and kinetic energy is. Whereas kinetic energy is anything that is in motion, an energy that is in motion. And potential energy is anything that is at rest, it is not moving, but it has potential to move. For your assignment this week, you're going to notice that you are going to need some required materials. I want you to know that if you do not have these materials, it is okay. Please do not stress about it. But if you can find a substitution or a replacement for any of these materials, please do so. I want all of you guys to just please find a substitution first before you say, I don't have it. Once you find that substitution, or if you have the required materials, then perfect. You are good to go, and you're just going to replace those materials with something that you have. Um, you're going to see at the end of your assignment is a lab report. You are going to need to complete your lab report. After you do your testing, of course, you have to record your data. You're going to record your data, and then you're going to do your lab report. In this report, you're going to answer the question. You're going to create a hypothesis. The hypothesis that you created before you started testing is what you're going to write on your um, worksheet. Remember how to write a hypothesis. You do not start a hypothesis with, I think that this is going to happen. You can, but please make sure you describe clearly what you think is going to happen. And after you do your hypothesis, you're just going to upload your assignment. Your whole entire lab should be complete. And then you are good to go for the week. Okay, fifth grade, I hope you guys have a great week of kinetic and potential energy. I've been sitting here so long, I done built up enough potential energy to get up and start moving again. So remember, check your weekly checklist, watch all your instructional videos, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.